Hello and welcome everyone, it is me the Laval, also known as the part to do this back for you with another video and with another episode of Sealed Only of Tronics. Um, last week, good progress made, some very sick pulls, once again out of the master pack funnily enough. Um, so let's hope this stuff continues this week as we dive into the shop once more. There's not a whole lot like left in here. That I do want to get my hands on. Uh, it is kind of just master pack or bust. <laughs> I'm almost thinking I leave it at 10 packs for this week. Until we get like more interesting stuff to open. Um, and then you know. I'll see how this treats me. If I get like crazy pulls out of 10 master packs then you know. I guess master packs are just the greatest way to open master dual cards. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a master pack, yeah. Very long, wide, fancy animation. Oh, a gadget box, though. That's kind of interesting. I'm... This card's, like, already rough and, like, constructed. <laughs> I might give this a try if I find a slot for it, but, um, hmm. It is, um, not the greatest piece of cardboard to be ever printed. Oh, why not Magician? Okay. Well, there goes that. Oh, buddy. Fable Rage, and that'd be a sick pull of this old generic. Um, but Rage and Rage is a really cool, cool card. Also, Warrock Mahmood in that last pack. Finally, a target for Mountain. Speedlift, yo, that's pretty cool. Otherwise, not a not a whole lot. Yeah, this is more more what I've expected out of Master Packs. You know, we can't get like a, a crazy every week and then we open the third Terra top and a silver gadget <laughs> um silver gadgets kind of cute oh it's exactly level four machines okay I thought this was level four lower just like platinum but um, then silver gadget is a lot less interesting about the third Terra top is very cool um, because now we do actually have a uh, three Terra top one Takatombok. If we had like a really good Synchro 6 to make off of that, I'd maybe consider running. It's him! <laughs> hey buddy, how's it been? Cool, I might run this, but that's that's pretty cool. Gear Force is also really cool. Um, this is if either player's uh, monster declares an attack and all monster control face machines. Uh, you destroy face-up attack position monsters the opponent controls up to the number of machines. Uh, which is pretty neat. Also, two glad beasts in the same pack. That's kind of wacky. That's pretty wacky. Ooh. That's a lot of foils. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mobtronic Cellphone. What are you doing here? <laughs> Gadala is also kind of cute, another kaiju. Chicken games, neat. You know, makes us able to like play a 39 card deck potentially, uh, which is okay. I might play that. Lingaribo! An awesome! <laughs> huh? What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Hey, Fafa, what a guy! It's the funny BA man. Um, <laughs> this is funnily enough the second week that we like go into the master pack and we open um, the Mothtronic secret pack. I might have to like look in the like, um, giving me the opportunity to, like, open secret packs that I do open. Um, if, if you're watching this, do let me know if you think that's a good idea. Kind of, like, Master Saga-ish to be like, hey, you know, if I unlock a secret pack, I can go into it, even if it's not the Moftronic one. Um, 
could be pretty interesting, especially in like, weeks where like this, where I find like, uh, for example, the um, the Earth pack. So we could like look into getting some Vanosurfs, which would be kind of cool. Um, I might leave it at those 10 Master Packs um, and just grab my Legacy Packs. And then get into some games, because those are some pretty sick pulls. Um, and with the cards from last week, I do kind of want to get get to gaming, because um, we do have a lot of cool cards to um, just play with. Yeah, Legacy Packs, alright. <laughs> yeah, those, those, <laughs> those are Legacy Packs, alright. Yep. Yep, those are legacy packs, all right. It was a bean soldier. Um, but yeah, with that, I think I'll go and edit the deck. <laughs> yeah, this this is this is probably probably the list I'm going with for this week. Um, back to old reliable, as you could say. Um, we're back on, you know, a very you know, I guess the usual, a more going first centric build with a couple traps. Um. Also, lineup almost unchanged, uh, especially for those of you who have watched last week. I did throw in the one Gis Naganaki, the Sunrise Signaler, uh, mainly just because I really like this guy. Um, just uh, good vibes, you know. The time post uh, Dawn of Majesty, when like every Morphtronic build was on this guy because you could Lone Fire for Salphon. Um Really cool card. I still am very fond of this guy. <laughs> Um, has a special place in my heart, yeah. Uh, three Remoten, um, similar, like, Scopen ratio as last week, um, two Scopen, one Revolution Synchron. As I feel like Revolution Synchron does what Scopen does, but slightly better. Um, three Radio, and three Singen are still our level fours of choice, and then, you know, joining Solo Windjammer and McKnight Red Moon, um, is the Super Express Bullet Train we pulled last week. Yeah, I do really just want to play worse Earth Machine. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's a cool card. Um, maybe on occasion this can punch in as a 3k guy, um, but oftentimes it will just be a free extender we can easily put on the board because this deck is full of Earth Machines um, and potentially convert into something like an Anger Knuckle, which is kind of cool. Uh, two junk box. Uh, Accelerator sadly had to leave us. Uh, I think we do have enough like going second blowouts to where we don't really value the spot removal as much anymore. Aside from the fact that I do think we want to be going first with this. Um, one lightning storm, the Axe of Despair, the double two CND, the three repay unit, the one life extreme, uh, the Onion Market is set dual, the limiter removal, the forbidden droplet, and then for the trap lineup we're on a Ring of Destruction, Traptic Trap or Nightmare, Time Space Trap Hole, Evenly Matched, Fiendish Golem, and Fiendish Chain. I'm still kind of thinking if I do maybe part ways with the two like big blowouts for like two more traps. Because I want to try going first again with this. You know what? Let's try it. We'll put into Ballista Squads and see how that goes. Uh, I'm still, like, really considering EMR in that slot. But the problem is, like, naturally we don't have, like, many good EMR targets. Um, it's essentially literally just slinging the bullet train. And then, like, sending a PTD, which I'm a big fan of. I think Ballista Squad is, like, a bit more flexible. Uh, in that regard. Um, the extra deck, uh, pretty cool changes once again. Um, Synchro lineup unchanged, uh, Hastor, Stardust Charge, 2 PTD, a Kui Belt, a Colossal Fighter, a Scarlet Red Dragon, Archfiend, although not necessarily unchanged. Uh, I did cut Livestream Dragon. Um, it's, 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 it's been a long time coming, but uh, by now we do have like enough extra deck options that I feel like we do consistently go into that we don't really need Livestream anymore. Um, the one break sword. I'm I'm still maybe considering one day like trying out the the terror top package just to like consistently make a break sword going second or just like uh, it potentially you know make a attack a box not a tuner. Um, doesn't make a status charge then. Well, uh, I guess you know just to make break sword. Maybe this is one day cute. Um, but we will see. There's also an anger knuckle, I guess. Uh, the one Link Rebo, the Anger Knuckle, and then joining the main deck is an Orsa, the Earth Charmer. <laughs> uh, sadly, she's not, uh, you know, gotten reprinted in Quarter Century Bonanza, which I am still a bit distraught about because I would have 
love to pick up a quarter century of her. But um, yeah, joining us in sealed only, which you know that's that's also a good place to be. Uh, still, the two pit knights um, got to almost pull that off last week. Uh, still waiting for these two to really shine, but generally just having these like good, like good okay-ish link twos uh, is kind of fine for the deck at the moment. And then we're playing a deco talker and a raster liger still. And with that off the way, I think it is time to get into some games. We win the coin toss, and I think we will be going first. Let's see if we can stop the guy with the diamond frame and the Luba profile image. <laughs> Look at this guy. He, who remembered to swap scenes? <laughs> um, let's hit him with the old classic, you know. A tale as old as time. The legendary T said. <laughs> um... 45, this, I mean, this could be anything branded, you know, the dear servant. I guess we're not accessing the extra deck. Entis, okay. Send Entis for Maximus. Might be Ritual Dogmatica in that case. <laughs> I think it's Rasta Liga Breaksword. Yeah, I think it dress like a break sword. This looks confusing as shit probably to my opponent, but hey. Set two, and that's a pass turn. Well, this better be a good one. This better be a pretty good one. I mean, you know, not mad about seeing this guy. Um, but I think this boy is getting stolen right this instant. Or maybe not. We get to actually summon cell phone. That's pretty cool. Naganaki for cell phone. This 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 series really is just like a a, a bunch of blasts from the past for me. <laughs> Which um, you know, I don't hate it. I I really don't. I really do not hate it in the slightest. Can you, like, leave Salphon alone, for fuck's sake? There's also Burns. Okay, that's kind of weird. I guess Bro has to kill me with a Link Karibo on the field. But uh, this probably is just a double-edged sword away from, you know, him winning the game. White Relic. Oh boy. Oh, that's a silly interaction. That is a very silly interaction, I think. Yep. Because I think now with the White Relic, they can, like, make the Link Kribo gain attack. That's, that's pretty silly. That's pretty cute. I'll give him that. I want to try something. I would like to try something. How silly can this get? So we go Philly. Target early. No, because we can't target these. Silly me for wanting to target a Makanko monster. Yeah. Silly me. Silly me. This time the, the, the early did not miss timing. The early just didn't have anything to target. <laughs> oh, that's... I mean, you know, we'll see. Prosperity for three. What are we playing? Valmonica. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wish I had, like, more ideas. On what... I, I know it, like, sets up a pop and has, like, I... Th this Does this have the, the counter trap in Master Duel? Probably, right? Related cards. It does not. Oh, someone was, like, meant to compose, I guess. 
when we pull a Royal Selectrice. That's impressive. We also have a Royal Angelo. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, hmm. Hmm. If this Dimono was uh, Royal as well, I would have, uh, hmm. Hmm. I guess Dimono and Angelo are supers, so, you know, <clears throat> can have Royals of those, but uh, Royal Selectrice and Angelo is uh, pretty, pretty nice. There's also a Royal Artemis, I guess. Bro really won the Royal Lottery for his favorite deck. I sadly didn't. <laughs> Although, granted, I did pull, like, two pretty sick Monarch Royals, so I can't really complain about that. I think if you if you do, like, Monarch and you have a Royal Erebus and a Royal Pantheism in Master Duel, you know, life's pretty good. <laughs> uh, probably gets to make Baguska here. How do we make something... Else that is silly. Yeah, we make Baguska. <laughs> we we just make the sleepy boy. Baguska pass. <laughs> Man. Eh? Oh boy. Ooh, that's a good card. That is a really good card. That is a card that I really like a lot. Um Well, first of all, I think we're sending Sleepy Boy to rest, you know. Uh, I think it is a ring. Confirm. And then we negate the drunken man. And then we get it twisted. Let's go gambling. Oh, man. Okay, so card in hand is probably like the uh, Celetrice, because you always get to add Celetrice back if I'm not completely mistaken. I guess you can make a Link Rebo here. Oh man, we don't get to clear anything here, not even the Baguska. I guess we could have, like, I reveal like another smartphone. Off this. Granted, I could make. I can't make Anger Knuckle. <laughs> I was like, I could make Anger Knuckle. And then I'm like, oh, I can't make Anger Knuckle. <laughs> These two are both cybers. Both of these float. I think I make also punch for more damage. It, it is still tragic that I had like actually like no uh, no way to out this Baguska. That's so annoying. But I guess we're playing with just Lynx on the following turn. Hmm. 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 Riveting. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, not outing this Baguska anytime soon. So that's a thing. Yeah. Go go right ahead. I think uh, I'm probably just waiting to make like a really good push. Now that uh, Baguska is running out. Just kind of maxing, you know, the draws you can get in. Because I'm once again in this position where I have to deal with a Baguska. But um, if I can't, I am cooked. They normal the Salatrice, get like a search in here for Eva Monica. 
normal or pendulum, add a Valmonica spell trap, add. Okay. I am by no means a Vermonica expert, but I'm very surprised that we are still adding monsters. <laughs> I think by now you'd try and add some spell traps. Pendulums. Oh, the problem is like all the extract pieces are linked once. <laughs> so I can't really like get a get a profitable time space trap hole in. And I think you play multiples. So they like turn the Stellar Tree Chain into one of the links. Oh! That's a cool card! <laughs> um, funnily enough, I am very pleased to see you, ma'am, but... Um, uh, Time Space Trap Hole specifically does not out Underworld Goddess. That is very unfortunate. That is so very unfortunate. Got to add back the Solatrice. Yeah, and Underworld Goddess does cleanly deal with the awesome. <laughs> hmm. God, I still I still love this card so much. It's such a cool card. Oh man. Hmm. This is quite the predicament. Um, this is quite the predicament. Get Underworld Goddess, yep. I mean, you go, King. And there's the Imperm, okay. Uh, well... Um, yeah, I mean, that does it. That does it. I can't link Karibo. Because, you know, I'm not even, like, in the process of resolving the cell phone. Um, and even if I would link Karibo, Underworld Goddess can just negate that. Yep. Not even mad. You know what? <laughs> not even mad. I did get Goddess. <laughs> like... Sometimes you got get, and sometimes you get Goddess. That's like, you know... <laughs> We get made to go first. Oh boy. Should I maybe have played the one Hucho we have? Just to be safe from the Tenpai players. 60 cards with a 13 card extra. Well, you know, I've opened Gizmag Naganaki, so I'm very happy. <laughs> oh man. It's it's been two years, but this feels so nostalgic because it's like such a such a silly like small time frame and like Mothronic deck building. Man, oh man, the Gizmec. Because like with remote, I get two smartphones in, which is like two additional bodies, and get to make like Osa Anger Naka. God, that goes hard. <laughs> <laughs> Bard goes hard, feel free to screenshot. Um Yeah, I think we remote in here. But also um unironically banish cell for cell here if I wanna go that far. Cause I can get the smartphone in the grave off of like, you know sending with the link rebo and then I just make an early instead. Have like two things that float on the board. So, uh, could be worse, you know, could be a lot worse, actually. Uh, I th think we pick up a Slingen. I think that sounds pretty good. And then we link Karibo here. I'm even thinking, do I commit this repay unit? Sixty cards. I'm ending on Droplet Fiendish Golem. What's like the high end? What's like the the real high roll option? Is like I can make a PTD because I self on into a Scopen. I could really get it twisted here. I could really just get it twisted here. 
Um, I think we try that, maybe. Yeah, I think we, we, we try that. Just throw enough, like, floaty, floaty guys at the opponent and see what happens. Let's get it twisted. Well, you know. <laughs> he who ne never tries will never succeed. 99% of gamblers. Make a, make a co-linked early here. Well, let's see if this is enough to stop what's probably a grass pile. Nebula Dragon. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Go on. Make a Numeron Dragon. See what happens. <laughs> So this is just like a rank 8 dragon big bungus deck. Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, okay. Xyz unit. Makes the Tachyon Dragon 4600. It's kind of cute. <clears throat> What? <laughs> now we are just casually ranking that up into like chaos, and the galaxy has cipher blade. Oh, that's the that's the pop, right? I think we're sending this guy to the future. You know, you get a little bit of gotta go on a bit a little little, little bit of time travel. You know, back to the future with you. <laughs> Set one. Pass. That's that's a really good one. That's a really good one. Um. Yeah, I think we summon remote in here. Grab a one, and that is a scoop. <laughs> Luck has run out for this guy. There's another 60 carder. What is going on? Well, this hand's not great. <laughs> this hand's not great. Um, this is the, the step up from, uh, from a T-set. The hope that, like... This ballista squad is like that meme with like the with the with the Cheeto and like the doll frame. <laughs> yep, I'm sure there's one pop will keep me alive. <laughs> Unexpected. oh, is this plants? Please tell me this is plants. Bustinatrix? <laughs> Reasoning. Okay, blind call reasoning. What are we what are we thinking? We've seen bust in a tricks. Until you excavate a monster can be normal summoned or set. Then if the monster is the same as the level declared by your opponent, send all excavated cards to I'm feeling four. <laughs> Nice reasoning, idiot. <laughs> Tribute off for malicious. Peak hero gameplay. Dyna? No. I was like, Dyna attack? No. Surely not. Uh, hero players, man. <laughs> it's a different breed. Um, oh, I didn't know that. Well, that's kind of cute. Uh, this kind of screws me. <laughs> this, funnily enough, does kind of screw me. Uh, well, 
Uh, what can I say? Uh, except anger knuckle. Inverter balls. <laughs> this is like something where I wish like we had like visuals like in the anime, you know, just like anger knuckle wielding like this like massive axe. <laughs> He does not know why he's here. All that he does know is that he must kill. <laughs> Spirit of you, <laughs> Oh, nay. That's so silly. Yes, I would like to still punch malicious really hard. <laughs> Because uh, I don't want this guy getting access to you, Bell. I don't think that sounds like a like a very pleasant experience. There's also spirit with no targets, right? Yeah, spirit with no targets. Summon spirit, no add. <laughs> God, this is probably like the most bat chest 60 card hero pile I've seen in like the the like forever. Doesn't take damage, doesn't get destroyed, yeah, okay. You don't have a nightmare pain on the field. Man <laughs> man. I'm like trying to think. How do we make something happen here that is slightly more interesting than, like, just putting guys on the field? I don't think we do. That's, like, the sad part. Uh, I was, like, thinking... Do we have a way to, like, trigger early? I can summon Remoten. Junk box for Scopen. I can... <laughs> then I don't have a Moftronic engraved, do I? Oh wait, I do. Yeah, where does this, where where does the third Moftronic come from? Silly internet Moftronic man. Oh, I'm very glad I destroyed that. That was probably also a spirit of you will target. Um, well, I guess we uh, stick to this then. Well, this was a whole waste of like two whole cards. <laughs> Surely there was a line to like make an early trigger, right? Oh, Oversoul. Go right ahead. You go right ahead. Well, this does beat over Remoten. At the very least, it does that. I might be getting cooked here. Because like, they can still Malicious. And then because they have a third Malicious, they can... Banish that. Trigger the cross. I think if they have a Cross Crusader here, I think I'm actually... Kind of freaking cooked. Though, uh, with a Spirit of you Bell and an Eternal Favorite in this, I would not be surprised if there actually was no Cross Crusader in this list, and the extra deck was just like 15 fusions. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, this is <laughs> one Stratos, by the way, playing like it's 2011 and this guy is still limited. <laughs> Insane. I mean, there's a good couple of things that do make this a very nice hand. Um, Southon. Hmm. 
no, not Labyrinth, not again. I don't want to go back. No. <laughs> oh, no. I don't have anything against tall women, but man. <laughs> Set two here because we searched. I what do we search off of Ariana? Oh, that's pretty neat. You get to like if you Ariana, you get to immediately trigger lady. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's a pretty damn good draw. <laughs> that's a pretty damn good draw. I'll be fucking damned. That is a crazy good draw. In before Ash Blossom. <laughs> In before Ash. <laughs> oh no, they have it. Oh, okay, thank God. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Not Ash. Okay, this resolves. That's pretty interesting. Um, hmm. Well, let's put a bullet train on the board. I think this guy's probably like thinking, what is, what is cooking? Like, huh? Someone like Gizmag, someone with Tronic, and I was summoning a train. What is this guy on? <laughs> Stovey Torby. Send an Ecclesia. We actually didn't have like a way to like turn these two into like a muckcracker to turn that life. That's interesting. Set a welcome lab here. Big bullet train. Boom. Boom. Mm. I think we actually make the Link Rebel first here. This could maybe maybe be our great breakthrough. Where we maybe finally get the get the pit night line live. Power Sink Stone. Oh, buddy, it's one of those games, I guess. Uh, this does make Bullet Trend a lot better, which is nice. <laughs> so we do take that. Uh, we missed again, which is funny. This doesn't, you know, live a ton. So set is welcome... That is an unknown. That's a judgment. So this is welcome. So yeah, this is welcome. They get to set back off of. Yeah, okay. And you get to add back an end phase here off the bullet train, which is nice. Ooh. Choto a freaking Marte. We have to link Rebo here, otherwise the cell phone gets blown up. Glad that I did remember that. <laughs> um, because damn. Just look at the value. <laughs> look at all this value. Stovey, Toby, turn these two into a Macraca, into a Chaos Angel. Oh, buddy. Um, so this is Chaos Angel, we flip Welcome Lab, we get to... Did we just Chaos Angel banish our own Power Sink Stone? What did we Ariana for? We ariana for Lovely. Wait, Lovely's a brick. How are you getting this Lovely on the board? Oh, Muckracker. We're making a Muckracker. Yeah, okay. Thank God. Uh, we targeted the Chaos Angel. Oh, because Chaos Angel isn't once per turn. You get to banish again. But now this has like none of the effects live. Uh, and this also isn't game. Please give me an extender, God. It would be so funny. 
God, if you exist, give me an extender right now. It would be so funny. <laughs> it's not an extender. That's not an extender. It's once again Southon against the world. <laughs> I missed twice last turn. He can't just keep missing, right? Right? <laughs> Ooh, smartphone's really good. Smartphone's a really good one here. Uh, smartphone here... Or another smartphone. That's interesting, at the very least. Yeah, I think we fire this now. I, I don't think there's like a world where we go like, oh no, let me quickly try and conserve this. Uh... Reaper unit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Um, we can repair unit here. Send Slingen. I think we summon Southon. We take the high roll route of finding Scopen exactly. <laughs> I mean, Scope more remote and either is crazy here. Five is a pretty good one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Scope and effect. Uh, yeah, we do sling in here. We just commit into a PTD, I think. Yeah, we don't have a. Uh, boom. Another 10 machine, summon it back. So we could swap out like something for the bullet train, which would be kind of funky. Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, we are just making the guy, right? I mean, we're limited to removal and murdering this idiot into like the, the next dimension, so like, you know. Um, well, this is happening first. Probably triggers my cracker here. Tribute the fiend instead. Yeah, tribute the Ariana. Okay. Okay. Boy, you. <laughs> Boy, you. Um, we got to make a PTD here. PTD effects. That's a pretty silly one. Maybe for this specifically, I should keep live stream dragon, but. Uh, that is a story for another week, I would say. Mm, yeah, because we don't make like a guy here. I think I cycle for... The, uh, for the bullet train here first, actually. Oh, I could make a link to with that, actually. I can send from hand to summon back. That's pretty cool. I... am not a seasoned Earth Machine player. <laughs> uh, so we go PTD... in the Angel. Pew! When the limit is being removed! <laughs> Muckcracker tributes itself. I guess that works out. Um, so they keep this around. Ooh, I might have fucked up then. Should have just like double-headed into the Muckcracker. Oh, I should have actually just attacked on the Muckcracker. I might have just freaked it, but we will see. Um, main two. I guess we can make an early right here. That's probably better than um, just letting everything get blown up. 
make an early here. We already get to trigger this guy in the end phase. Yeah, I think we, we pass here. Anganaka gets blown up in the end phase by the limiter removal. But we also get to bullet train, add back a Scopin is I think the pick. Yeah, that's my bet. That is my bet. If we w if we lose this, that is my bet. Oh wait, this is two K over the early. This is game. <laughs> ah, okay, that's that's insanely bad of me. That is insanely bad for me. That is actually insanely bad of me. Yeah, PTD keep the equip funnily enough keeps me alive. Okay, yeah, that's my bet. That's that's full on me. That's absolutely on me. That's horrendous. I was like, yeah, I can punch over this Chaos Angel, but yeah, can my, can my Cracker protect, my Cracker tributes itself off, and then, you know, they don't take further damage. Should have, like, anger knocked and then I could have uh, punched into the, uh, the Chaos Angel. That's my bet. Uh, ooh. That's not a great one. That is not a great one. We can at least, on your mark, grab Ref Synchron. But after that, it is... Set remote and pass. Quite literally. Is this Thunder Dragon? Radiant. Black Whirlwind. Okay, that's what I was kind of waiting for. Oh, what? <laughs> and that's Sudri. Okay, yep. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's speed this one up. Yep. Comic justice for that, uh, for that lab game. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a pretty good one. That is a pretty good one. Immediate access to like a Scarlet RDA, which is pretty sick. Why is that a three card extra deck? <laughs> Why is that a three card extra? What's going on here? <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> set three pairs, I guess. Ooh, um, I mean, we don't really have, like, a good, clean way into back row. Mm, yeah, I th I'm making Colossal Fighter. I, I think you probably make Scarlight here, but there's not a whole lot you can Scarlight here. This guy is probably confused to shit, just like, what the fuck, why did a Colossal Fighter just hit the field? <laughs> What is this, 2010? Well, I think... Solar Windjammer wasn't out by then, I think. Solar Windjammer is like a... Mid to late Zexel card, I want to say. Well... Scope in here, summon smartphone... And then we see where the road takes us. Bloodgate Trap Hole, that's pretty rude. Mm. Welp. We'll just get Saku Red Suit or something. Quaking Mirror Force. That's pretty funny. <clears throat> now watch me tribute over these two monsters next turn. <laughs> Now watch me tribute over these two monsters next turn. <laughs> okay. What are we adding here? Three-eyed ghost. Lord of the heavenly prison. So this is just like... Generic good stuff back row deck. It's like what I'm, the vibes that I'm getting, you know. Set repair unit here. Summon Red Moon. Uh, I. Oh, we could do a real funny and actually attack with this bullet train. <laughs> um, normal ref synchron. This threatens Baron. Watch out. <laughs> Uh, this needs all monsters to we control to be earth machines. That's unfortunate. Double its defense. Okay, yeah. 
Oh, is this like just um a like anti tenpai deck? I feel like that's just an anti tenpai deck. This feels very like targeted in terms of like Yeah, this this very much feels like hey, you know. <laughs> Oh, this is defense OTK. Broken blocker. Oh, this is like probably... Performer Pal Card Gardener. So wacky. Man. I'm still sad about that lap game. I fucking had it. I had that. Could have anger knuckled over the... The Muckracker. And then just uh, punched. Over the Chaos Angel. This is kind of what I'm... What I'm sniffing out here. Another Into the Void. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. What are you digging for there, buddy? <laughs> Six card in the extra. Yep. Didn't find the FTK. We'll take it. We'll take it. This is probably like the the like um like Mystic Walk FTK thing with like the number something that like returns like life point gain or something. Yep. With the manipulator of souls. Needed a Destruct Potion, or something. And then, yep. We just tribute off like a very fat Dragonar, I think. And that's the, the line. I think um, after that misplay, I uh, I might want to, you know, take a break here. Um, But I, I did fairly enjoy this. This list feels, feels very good. Uh, we did often get to get to do the Silly Bullet Train thing, uh, which was pretty cool. Um, as someone who does appreciate um, grindier decks in like, the modern sense, because I feel like there's just so much more to like a deck nowadays um, than, you know, like back in the day where like, you know, every deck supposedly had to have something like this. Um, it's pretty sick. It felt very good, um, especially since we do have a lot of the, the pieces to make it, like, worth it uh, in, you know, something like an Anger Knuckle or so. Um, very cool, very cool. Do enjoy that. And, yeah, otherwise, you know, we're making power to dragons. We're, we're, we're punching hard, and sometimes we're missing lethal, even if it's right in front of us. Um, but I hope that, you know, that becomes less of a rarity. But, you know, w once or twice, it's kind of funny for the video. Um... <laughs> Just sh shouldn't be, like, a, a continuous thing. So, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I think we'll, we'll be diving back into this with this list next week. Um, hopefully, another couple of cool changes from the Master Pack next week. Um, but I would not be too mad if that doesn't happen. So, yeah, with all that out of the way, I'll be thanking you guys very much for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time. But until then, goodbye. Goodbye.